Hi, my name is Peter Lloyd San Juan and I am a core dancer of Ballet Philippines on stream. I live in Manila right now together with my two children, Natalia and Mateo. It's near the cultural center of the Philippines, so I just walk going to my classes and rehearsals. I started my dance training when I was 16 years old with the Quezon City Performing Arts Development Foundation under Luther Perez, Eddie Elihar, and Tony Pavelia. The foundation provides proper training in performing arts for poor. When I was in high school, my aunt and her husband adopted me so that I could do well in my studies. Because that time, my mother could no longer take care of us. There, I met Sir Tony Fabella. He went to our school to look for students who wants to learn performing arts for free. First, I understood arts. First came into my mind is painting. Because that is my dream, to be a painter. To be like Picasso, Van Gogh, and Malam. But my aunt didn't want me to audition. She said, just focus on your studies. But I said, it might help me one day. When I went to the studio, I was surprised because the children were wearing different clothes, especially the boys. I wanted to go home. But when I saw them dance, I was so amazed. Folk dance, hip hop, contemporary, and classical ballet, they were so good. It's like they have magic while dancing. Then I went to audition and I got accepted. After a year and a half of the Guru's training, my teacher sent me to audition for full scholarship program of Philippine Ballet Theater under Russian Ballet Master Anatoly Panashikov to pursue my training in classical ballet. Papa Anatoly, thank you so much for everything and to all the teachers who taught me in PBT, thank you. Thank you for the opportunities to dance great classical ballets and best in Fino ballets. I take class five to six days a week. Our class starts at 9 a.m. First, there's cardio and gymnastics training, then company class, and rehearsals up to 8 p.m. During weekends, I teach ballet to children online through Zoom at Lito Achenza Cultural Arts Foundation. As a person right now, before work starts, I cook for the kids and clean the house as well as after work. It's great to be a dancer. You try to improve your technique and interpretation of roles given to you. At the same time, you need to embrace the sayings like no pain, no gain, no sacrifice, no victory. It's part of the process. Yes, it's great to be a dancer. I balance my time as a dancer. Eight to nine hours of my day are set aside for dance. And then I will do my responsibilities before starting and after work. Challenging me right now are staying safe and my family in the pandemic. I want to be able to save for my children, for their future, for their schooling. And I really miss dancing. I really miss performing on stage with the audience. That's my favorite part, being a dancer. I love performing on stage. I love performing to the audience. I realize in this pandemic that nothing is permanent. So you should always be thankful for all the blessings that come. Always pray and always give thanks to God. I learned as a dancer and a creator to be thankful for everything. Be patient, hardworking, broad, creative, and perform wholeheartedly. Bye.
Bali Philippines changed my life because I was able to continue my career in dance. I kept dancing by I always want to practice, 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 and learn more. I'm still hungry to learn more. Bali Philippines gives us quality training. I learned a lot to the class of Joseph Phillips and Mikael Martinio. And to all the master classes online, I learned a lot and I can share it with my students. Bali Philippines takes care of our health. They make sure we are safe with COVID. Thank you, BB. I am most grateful today for all the people who helped me from the beginning, especially in times of difficulty. To my teachers, my family, friends, to everyone behind Bali Philippines, maraming maraming salamat po.